In justification, the sinner stands before God accused, but he is declared righteous. In justification, he stands before God accused, but he is declared righteous. In forgiveness, the second word, the sinner stands before God as a debtor and receives a cancellation of his debt. In adoption, the sinner stands before God as a stranger, but he is made a what? Son. In reconciliation, the sinner stands before God as an enemy, but he is made a friend. In redemption, the sinner stands before God as a slave, and he is receiving his freedom. See. All of those terms speak of the wondrous miracle of salvation. All of those things, justification, forgiveness, adoption, reconciliation, and redemption, are provided because Jesus paid the price. Do you understand that? We are accused, but he bore our punishment so we can be set free. We are debtors. He paid our debt. We are strangers, but he is a son, and we are in him made sons. We are enemies, but he is the friend, and we in him are friends of God. We are slaves, but he has bought our freedom. See, all of those terms are different facets of the magnificent diamond of the doctrine of salvation. So, redemption is just one way to view the meaning of salvation. He bought us from the slavery of sin. Now let's look at this as it unfolds in our text. We see five aspects of redemption as Paul speaks. First of all, the Redeemer. Let's look together at verse 6. Grace would be the antecedent. Grace through which he hath made us accepted in the Beloved One, in whom we have redemption. Who then is our Redeemer? In whom do we have redemption? The Beloved One. That's what he says. We have been accepted in the Beloved One. You see, because we are in Christ, because by faith we are made one with Jesus, because we are His body, because we are Christ in the world, we therefore are acceptable to God in Him. And it is in Him that we have redemption. There's only one Redeemer, beloved. And that's the Beloved One. And the reason we can be called the Beloved of God is because we are in the Beloved One. He is the one in whom we have redemption. 